Today we're going to talk about the three types of heat and how you can keep those from coming into your house or keep those from going out of your house. Hey, I'm in Houston where we have our beautiful showroom with over a dozen brands of windows and doors to choose from. If you live in this area, I'd love to meet you. If you don't, I can help you find a great window company near you. I started a website for that. It's called thewindowexperts.com. Okay, so what is this? Well, this is a uh, beautiful painting that we had sketched up by Clay. He's one of our team members here. And Clay did this for me to illustrate the three types of heat that are coming into your home and how they work and how we can help prevent those with some good windows. So if you're worried about the heat going out of your house or the heat coming into your house, this is a little bit of a kind of a little lesson on heat so you can understand that. So this is fire. Uh, some logs here, some fire, and you can see we've got a s'more. Have you ever had s'mores? I love s'mores. S'more here on the end of a coat hanger. So three types of heat exist here, and I want to cover those. The first type of heat is what we call the, con the uh, convective heat. Have you ever heard of a convection oven, right? A convection oven is an oven that has heat where there's a fan that blows and circulates that heat. So when we have this heat rising, which by the way, that's what it does, right? Heat rises. The air's moving, air's flowing, cool air goes with hot air up, and then that hot air, because we don't want to touch that to the fire, we want that hot air to help cook this s'more. And so that's what we call convective heat. It, it's convection, it heats that up. Now once this s'more starts to get hot, and the wire starts to get hot, right, and you're, if your wire's not long enough, what'll happen is, you will feel that heat start coming up that wire into your hand. And that is what we call conductive heat. That is conductive heat. And then if you were to turn towards the fire, get a little closer because you're cold, and you would feel that heat on your face, feel it on your body, that's what we call radiant heat. So you got that? We got convective heat, conductive heat, and radiant heat. So how does that work when it comes to a window? Well, when it comes to a window, we want to use the same types of heats to figure out how can we keep those from coming into our house? So convective heat basically translates to what we would call on a window air leakage. So when you look at a window's NFRC sticker, which is the National Fenestration Rating Council, every, just about every window made in the U.S. will have a sticker on it that gives you that information. And one of the pieces of information it's going to give you is called the air leakage rating. Air leakage rating in a, in a good window, an Energy Star rated window is going to be a 0 .30 CFM. Um, but most windows you're going to find are so much better than that. They're somewhere around a 0 .10 or even better. So air leakage ratings is going to be important. Now, if you have a window that's fixed that doesn't open, obviously the air leakage rating on that is going to be much better than if you have a window that's an operable window. So a single hung window, of course, has the whole bottom come open and close, right? Now you can get some air in around those perimeter. So depending on what, how good that weather stripping is, determines on how good your air leakage rating is. A, a window that has double hung where the top and the bottom open, you're going to have more air leakage because you have more weather stripping on that window, right? Does that make sense? So getting a, a window with good weather stripping, good tolerances on how the frame is built is going to actually help give you a better air leakage rating, which means you're gonna get less of that convective heat coming through your house. The other type of heat we talked about was conductive heat or conduction. Remember how the wire, with the wire, if the wire gets hot, it transfers that heat. You ever picked up like a real hot uh, cast iron skillet? Yeah, you only do that once, right? You never do that again, because that conductive heat is really, really hot and it gets there really fast once you get it going. So this is what we would call our frame type, right? What type of a frame material are we using on our window to help reduce conduction? Now, just like steel, in this case, a little coat hanger, a steel door, a steel window is going to be beautiful, but it's not going to be the, the best material to reduce conduction. In fact, it's a great conductor of, of the heat. And so is aluminum. Aluminum is a great conductor. Now I've got some videos about the difference between old aluminum and high performance new aluminum, and I'll put a link to it down there and up here. You can watch those to understand it. Even aluminum does pretty good, but it's not gonna be as good as say components like uh, vinyl would be or fiberglass. Vinyl and fiberglass are gonna be great 
at not conducting the heat. So the frame material, so we got our air leakage, we've got our frame material type, which is important. And then the third one, radiation, that's where you're facing the fire and you feel that heat. Okay, in our case on a window, that would be measured in the glass. So the glass itself has the infrared rays from the sun that come through and they wanna penetrate into the house and they will actually create heat. And that would be the radiant heat. So how do we stop that? We stop that with low E coatings. I've got a video about low E coatings. If you watch our video about low E coatings, you'll understand how low E coatings actually can reduce that amount of heat that comes through from the infrared radiant heat from the sun. So you say, Jeff, so what would be the best window for me if I live in a, in a cold climate? Well, a window that has a low air leakage rating that has a great material in the frame, like say fiberglass or vinyl, and that would have great uh, radiation prevention on the glass in order for you to reduce the amount of heat. However, think about this. If you do live in a climate where you mostly try to heat your home, sometimes you actually don't want to have a lot of low E on your glass because you want that sun to come through that window on a cold winter day and actually bring some of the heat into the house. So in that case, you would want a different low E package than if you lived in a hot climate. So Jeff, what's the best window for a hot climate? With a low air leakage rating, because you don't want that hot air to come in and you sure don't want your cold air to go out from your air conditioner. With a material like fiberglass or, or vinyl that would be least conductive for the heat to come through or for the cold to escape. And then we want plenty of low E protection to reduce the amount of radiation that comes through that glass, radiant heat. So you say, well, Jeff, explain to me, where are those numbers on a window? Well, the overall number for, for, the, uh, for the air leakage is going to be very obvious because it's gonna say air leakage. And then when you look at this frame material, that's usually reflected in what's called the U factor. When you look at U factor, the lower that number, the better. And then this one, where we talk about radiant heat, is going to be called the solar heat gain coefficient. Now, if I can help you with your window project, help you find the right window for your climate, let me know. Check out thewindowexperts.com. And if I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I hope to talk to you again real soon.